Okay, so today we're going to work on the uh, skin tone of the arms and the hands, and then the uh, shirt, bit of the trousers, and we're good. So for the skin tone, I have white, titanium white, burnt sienna, and ultramarine violet. So I'm gonna take, I'm gonna start with the dark. So I'm gonna take burnt sienna, and this burnt sienna is Winsor & Newton, so it has a little bit of orange in it. Just perfect for skin tone on this scale, small scale. I'm going to add ultramarine violet and white. So I'm darkening the skin a bit because it's in the shadow area. And I'm going to put the first layer. I'm going to zoom in uh, in a minute. So I applied a second layer for the skin tone using burnt sienna and ultramarine violet. Now I'm going to start highlighting. I'm going to take just burnt sienna and white. And I'm just going to add a highlight where um, I see a strong light on the hand, arm first, then the hand down, because he's holding the oar. And with the hand, you know, I'm gonna have a little bit more highlight. So I'm gonna take now, this is a strong highlight. So I'm gonna take a bit of more burnt sienna and mix it with white, and then highlight this part of the hand as well. So it shouldn't be, shouldn't be too light. I know acrylic dries darker, but still. So what I'm doing is something like this. I have a hand. Just for you to see close up. How I'm doing this. I have a line that tapers wider this side and narrower here. Then I have just kind of a, say a, let's say a triangle. It's not a triangle, but something like this. Um, this part is longer than this side. Now I'm going to take highlights. And I'm going to highlight this part right here. <laughs> and down here. So I'm going to create like a, mm, I would say, triangle right here where the arm is, the hand is. So it's lighter, lighter here where the light is and a little bit darker in, in right here inside. So we're not really um painting a hand hand because this is too small too far away we're painting a suggestion of a hand 
Okay, now for this one here, the closer one, from what I see in the reference, I see that there is a highlight. So I'm going to highlight my burnt sienna with white. And again, kind of the same idea, uh, lighter up here. And I'll show you in a minute where, why is this lighter up here? Because this is this part of the hand right here. That's where the, the light is hitting. And I'm going to highlight this part down. Connect it softly with that highlight of the hand. Okay. Again, let's do that. Let's take a bit of more burnt sienna, put a bit of ultramarine in it, ultramarine violet in it, and come here. Because um, acrylic dries darker, so you, you always have to wait for it to dry and then you know, um, make sure that you highlight it. Okay, so for the shirt now, I'm gonna use cadmium orange and ultramarine violet to make my cadmium orange darker. So I'm gonna take cadmium orange, ultramarine violet, and that will make my cadmium orange darker. And I can increase the darkness. It's good. If you don't have cadmium orange, just mix uh, yellow and, and red. And for the purple, um, you could mix actually the three of them, three colors, three primary colors, red, um, blue, and yellow together, and then add a bit of white. And you can gauge at that point if you need more red or more blue. Um, and it will give you a really good uh, color, uh, base color. So this is this is good. This is enough. I'm just going to take a bit of more orange. Put it here. I'm going to take a little bit more of the ultramarine violet. Ultramarine violet is a bluish purple that is uh, very uh, soft. So it doesn't really take over usually when I'm adding it to any other color. Just about to here, and in, and then instead of mixing other colors to do the part of the uh, trousers or shorts he's use, he's wearing, I'm going to try to use the same. Uh, I'm going to try to use uh, burnt sienna, mix it with ultramarine violet, and put some orange in there. Kind of like a brownish color, dark brown, because it's very, very small amount. So I don't want to open up a tube just for that. So this this would do. Just to take it like that. Okay. 
let it dry, and then we'll do another layer. And uh, once we do the other layer, it becomes, it will look darker. The second layer will make it darker. Right, so this is good. It's getting there. Now I'm going to take the same um, combination, which is orange, add it, add more orange to the first combination. And I'm, I'm going to try to ha start highlighting this shirt. That's a medium tone. I see the orange more. Take it from shoulder down. Light is coming from this side. And highlight this part of it. And more like a round or curve your highlight a bit here, because that's his back. His back is not straight. It has a curve. Uh, we're going to curve this part too. Bring it down. And now with the same highlight, I'm going to take my highlight from here and just kind of turn it around this way. A couple of brush stroke this way. In. In. And we will highlight more in a minute. These are the creases of the shirt that he's wearing. Now, I just want to make sure that I keep in mind that I, I'm, I'm keeping. Uh, this part should be darker right here. I don't want to highlight this part too much right there. That's where the shirt is. <clears throat> the shirt and the the um, sleeve okay this is good i change my brush to a smaller one take more white put it here in this mixture of the orange and ultramarine violet Wiping my brush. And now I'm going to put stronger highlights. Short, short shoulder from here. You can see a bit of that highlight seeping through behind the head. And then over here. Let's bring it down. And I'm going to bring in a little bit of more of the ultramarine violet to this combination, which is, it is a, it's um, cadmium orange, white, and ultramarine violet. I'll just add a bit of more ultramarine violet to this highlight to tone it down, tone down the orange. Don't take your highlight all, all the way down, just a bit. That's all you need. And then there's a bit of highlight in here. Now, I'm going to take more white, put it in. That's a strong white with the orange and the ultramarine violet, but more white. And you see, I take white with the Tip of my brush. And then let's put more highlights here. Right here. Down. Again, I'm going to go back and darken a bit. 
take a medium tone. Because like I mentioned before, acrylic dries darker, so I keep adjusting my highlights. These colors I'm using are cadmium orange, ultramarine violet, and a bit of white. Right, that's good. All right, now more one more layer of the dark brown, which is actually a combination of burnt sienna and ultramarine violet. And I'm just going to put one more layer over here where the trousers are. And if I find that it's not enough, I can add just ultramarine blue or any kind of dark blue in here. Good. I'm just adjusting the color on the back of the shirt right here. Um. Okay, this project is done. Uh, we've done the uh, boat, the hands, arms, arms and hands, and the shirt, and uh, worked a bit on the reflection.
system.